Welcome to another episode of Fossil Friday. This week, I'm going to be talking about the ancient arthropod Anomalocaris. Anomalocaris, which means strange shrimp, was first named in 1892, however the name was not given to the whole animal. In the Burgess Shell of Canada, odd shrimps were being found fossilised in pairs, but it was not understood why there were always two together. Therefore, the appropriate name was given. However, it was later discovered that these supposed shrimps, along with various other fossils that had been identified as different species, were actually part of a much larger creature. This animal turned out to be one of the biggest marine predators of the Cambrian period. Anomalocaris moved through the ancient seas by undulating the rows of lobes it possessed on either side of its body, each row acting like a fin. This method of propulsion was effective, and a model has shown that it was very stable, indicating that a complex brain was not necessary to balance the animal as it swam. There were two big arm-like processes that possessed barbs in front of the mouth, the objects that had been mistaken for shrimps, and the parts that gave Anomalocaris its name. It has been suggested that these appendages could have been used to break open its prey's shells by flexing one end of them while they held the other end in its mouth, therefore allowing the predator to get past the protective exoskeleton of its prey. Anomalocaris was absolutely enormous for its time, at a length of almost 2 metres long, and was likely the first multicellular super predator to have ever existed on the planet. Thank you for watching this episode of Fossil Friday, I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you to Simon Ring for suggesting Anomalocaris to me. Remember to follow me on social media, and subscribe for next week's Fossil Friday.